What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out the Saris One Bike Add-on. Now this is gonna work with your one bike setup with the MHS system, your two bike setup, you can add a third bike, or even your three bike setup, you can add a fourth bike. So either way, this can help you and your rack grow as you add another person into your group on riding, or you just wanna carry an extra bike, this is how you're gonna do it without having to buy a whole new bike rack. Let's check it out. What you're gonna get with this is another tray that's elevated, it mounts onto the square plate here at the end of the shank, you'll just pop that cover off and that's where you'll install everything. So it elevates this tray up above the other two, which is gonna help you out with a little bit of clearance. You can see our seat and handlebars are above the other one. So when you're adding that extra bike on there, it'll be out of the way. But the tray is the exact same as what you already have. You got the same wheel straps, the same arms that come in and hold by the tire. You even still have the lock, the cable lock built into it as well. Here's a closer look at where you're gonna mount this at. This is where that square, that cap I said, you can pop off and mount it to there. These are gonna be the risers. These are the arms that come up and hold that tray up a little bit higher than the other tray. It's really easy to install. It's just a few bolts. Check out how we did it. Now we're gonna start by assembling the tray first. So we have the risers that we're gonna to add to the bottom. So we're gonna line up these two holes here with the holes on the bottom of the tray. Something to look for when you're going to put the risers on is you want the knobs facing the outside. So this is kind of flipped upside down right now, but when we install it like this, this is gonna get it rised in the correct position. So line up the holes on the bottom of our riser here, and then the rack, and then just drop one of the bolts in. And then we'll use the included Allen key to get it hand tight. After we get those tightened down, we'll do the same thing for our second riser. Coming back to the bike rack, we're gonna pop off this cover. There's gonna be one on top and one on bottom. So it's gonna be the same process for both of them. This is just getting a screwdriver. You just need to pry up on this side here just to get one of those to pop out. There's gonna be four corners. They got a little piece that goes down in there and attaches it. So then when you get those two, you should be able to just pop it off like that. So we got the plates, they come with the kit. Set that up. This one that has the smaller square and then the outside is going to go on top. You just match up the holes here like that. And then the bottom plate is going to be just the small square there and it's going to line up with these holes. So what I'm going to do is drop in one of the bolts from the top and start to thread this one in. You can see the bolts drop through. I'm going to just start to hand tighten that one to hold this plate in place. Now, with that one kind of holding the bottom plate for me, I can just drop the other bolts in through the top and do the same thing. Just get them started by hand, and then I'll come back with the tool and tighten them all down. We're gonna do that for all four of them. Come back here with the tool included, and just go and tighten them down. Just doing them hand tight, not doing anything crazy aggressive. Now we're ready to install our new tray. You can see that I already put the bolts in place. So let me hold this with one hand and show you. Just took it and slid it in there so it holds it. It's going to be easier trying to balance this one-handed and get those into place. You just kind of line them up with the existing holes on the plate. You can see where those are right there. Aiming for those and we'll come back with the included tool and get them started. So as I tighten this one here, it's going to hold it all up so I don't have to use my hands to hold it anymore. It'll be easier to get the other bolts in place. And we're gonna repeat that for this one and then these two here. With it installed, you're ready to add your bikes. Now, my thoughts on this would be, it's a nice option. I like that it's customizable because you never know what kind of stuff you're gonna get into, even if it's just you wanna take a mountain bike and your road bike to the same place. Maybe you wanna take a fat tire bike too. You can fit all three of these on here and you have that option to expand your bike rack if you need to without having to buy a whole new setup because nobody wants to mess with that. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.